Randall Johnson. Full name's Randall Garnett Johnson Jr. Okay, People okay. call me Randy. I just hit college at the right time because uh, you know Spike Lee came out with School Days uh, the year before. Um, that was the movie, and so that, that fascinated me. You know, I'm 16, 17 years old, uh, so I had awareness of that. And you know, and I grew up um, going to um, in Richmond. Uh, my, my my family is very involved at Virginia Union University, so I, w I went to all the football, basketball games. I'll be on campus. So I, I had a very firm awareness of a black Greek life. Um, had not planned to pledge anything when I came here. Um, my senior year of high school uh, went to the accepted students overnight program, and Dean Hardy would have uh, events and, 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 and activities set up for uh, black students who were admitted. And, uh, and there was uh, the Black Greek uh, Step Show uh, every year uh, in, in, in the spring, and admitted students would, would be there. And so I went to the show, and I remember the alphas. There were about uh, six alphas on the yard at the time, and and they stepped, and you know I was close in. I, it's not on TV. Um, it, they, I was right there. It, it was amazing to, to see them step. And so when I, I came on the yard, um, there was the homecoming step show. Um, I saw them, and I knew a couple of them. Um, but my my best friend, who was end up going to be the best man in my wedding, uh, uh, Greg Mercer. He uh, was the first person I met at William Mary. Uh, he lived in a room right next to mine, and we hit it off from, from day one. He's from Baltimore. And, uh, and Greg and I were polar opposites. He was uh, a good-looking ladies' man. That, that, that's who Greg was. I was more reserved, laid back. You know, I was in a deep relationship with my girlfriend, now wife, at the time. So we were polar opposites in a lot of ways. I'm tall. He's short. Um, but we just hit it off and from day one. And so I remember when Greg came back, um, it was, it must have been right after the new year, like in January, and he said the alphas are having a smoker. And he was interested. He wanted me to come with them. So I just went with them just to, <laughs> you know, hang out. And also another friend of, of ours, uh, Billy, Billy Mack, he was from New York. Uh, he was in our, our freshman hall. He was interested in well. So three of us did all, a whole lot of stuff together. And so the three of us ended up, you know, because of Greg and Billy, I said, yeah, I'm just going to, it was because of them. I said, I'm going to, I'll do this with you all. We had a um, fraternity house, one of the lodges. So it was easy just to show up, pop up. And right after you graduate, people, either you know personally, they know you, uh, or they knew of you. Because, you know, for the first 10 years, maybe they knew of you. You find that the older you get, um, you know, you know, they might know your name or see your name, but you know, and I understand that when I was you know, here, except for the, the charter line, you had, you had to <laughs> learn your charter line, but um, you didn't know people who you know, were here you know, you know, 10 years before you were. But one thing, one of the, the pandemic has created a lot of experiences, and one of the good things about the pandemic is that we've had uh, online smokers, Kappa Pi, and we've had opportunities to meet collectively